Al-Shabaab gunmen stormed this college in northeastern Kenya in an early morning attack that turned into a hostage siege, killing scores of people and wounding many more. Students say the attackers were going from dorm to dorm targeting Christians. Many woken by the sound of gunshots fled in a panic as military forces arrived. We were sleeping, so it was around, around five, and uh, guys started jumping up and down, running for their lives. We went to the field, sit, uh, sat there, and uh, we, 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 the gunshot continued, and this made us to run to the fence so that we can uh, get our way out from the school. As you can see, the situation we are in here, I've even run naked because we, are, we were not even given time to know what is happening. Hours after the assault began, Kenyan security forces cornered the gunmen in a dorm room at Garissa University College, where President Uhuru Kenyatta says they are holding hostages. My government has undertaken appropriate deployment to the affected area and is fully seized of the situation. This is a moment for everyone throughout the country to be vigilant as we confront and defeat our enemies. Kenyatta, who has been under increased pressure after a string of recent attacks by al-Shabaab, says he has cleared the way for 10,000 additional recruits to enroll in the police force and report to training. Kenya badly needs additional officers and I will not keep the nation waiting. Hundreds of the school's 815 students remain unaccounted for. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.